else I hear? Well, I got a whole bunch of boxes of these pine boards, and so I thought I would try to make something. I found a wall hanging with a barn quilt type design, so I thought I would try to make that, or something similar anyway. So first I put some brown stain on a whole bunch of the boards, and then I also did that with some black colored stain too. I found a large piece of a quarter inch plywood, and I think it actually might be a little bit thicker than that, but I thought that was a good size, and so I sanded all of the edges. Then I used the miter saw and I cut the pieces with a 45 degree angle. After I started laying it out, I realized that it needed to be a bigger table. So I moved it to our outfeed table. And as I was putting it all together on the outfeed table, I realized that the camera angle was off. So I adjusted the camera angle and then I spread everything out because I wanted to restain them because now where I had cut them, there were areas that didn't have any stain. So I ended up putting stain not on the newly cut areas only, but on all of the surfaces except the backside of each of the pieces, all of the brown pieces and all of the black pieces. And once those were dry, I moved all the pieces so I could put the backer board down and move all of the pieces onto the backer and I slid half of them down so I could put tight bond two onto the backer and I used a brush to spread it all around and then I started putting the pieces back on. And then I did the same thing on the other half. A few boards were sticking up funny so I put some weight on them. I used a couple of bean bags, I used a piece of wood with a weight on it and I used that heavy glue bottle and that seemed to work. When that was all set up, I used a T-square and a carpenter square to mark out a rectangle. Then I used the big bandsaw to cut that rectangle out. This was a little bit awkward, but I wasn't sure how to do it otherwise. So first I cut outside of the rectangle marked line that I had, and then I did a second pass cutting closer to that line. Next I put a border around it. I cut and I measured each board, and then I just glued one board at a time. It took a while, but that last board was finally all done and I was ready to take those clamps off. I'm gonna put some of the black coloring on the edge here. Yeah. I used the black stain again and a brush and I put that black stain on the border edge of that backer. When that was all dry, I used some compressed air and then I sprayed a thin coat of polyurethane semi-gloss over the whole thing. Once that was dry, I flipped it over and I put a verse on the back. I picked John 14, 21 and it says, whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my father and I will love him and manifest myself to him. The content of this verse means a lot to me right now. The project was bigger than the laser and I have the laser screwed down, but I was able to remove the laser from the table it's screwed to and put the project down and put the laser right on top of it. I love that about this laser. And here is how the verse turned out. Then I put a wire for hanging on the back and I thought, hmm, you know what? I think it might look better if the back was black. I could frame the verse and then make the back, the rest of the back black. So I had to take that wire back off. So I used a Sharpie to make the box around the verse, and then I started to black in the rest of the back with the Sharpie, but I realized it was such a big area that it would be better just to use some acrylic paint. So I did that and it worked really well. Then once that was dry, it was really easy to put the wire back on. So then I hung it up. It's done! <laughs> Woo! I really liked doing this and I think it looks so cool. So you all know my hubby, husband, I call him. His name is Stan. And he has a website called Hardwood Inspirations. And on that website, he is putting on his projects that he has for sale. And a lot of them are big, heavy projects. And so he made free shipping. And so the price that you see for the items is the price that it costs, period. Um, because he's selling big and heavy items on there, I think that I am gonna put this on his website because the shipping is probably gonna be uh, kind of hefty on this piece. So if anybody wants to check out the website, I have a link down below. And 
or I'll try to put one here on the screen. I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'll try. And I'll have this on that too. I have a little tab, size corner tab on his website. So I'm putting things on there slowly and he's putting things on there too. It's a new, pretty new site. And so um, you can go check it out if you'd like. It's called Hardwood Inspirations. So thanks for joining me, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye!